Hello, I wanted to uh, do a, to show you another video in our series on um, mobile editing, uh, mobile data editing. This uh, is an application running on an Android device. It's uh, it's actually a cross-platform application, so it's an installed application that would run on this device or indeed on an iPad. Um, you're viewing data which has been served by ArcGIS Online. This is actually a web map. Um, what you're looking at here is a base layer with uh, with feature layers overlaid and two of those feature layers are actually editable feature layers. One of them is actually being served up from ArcGIS server as a, as a, a feature server and it's actually been hosted by Esri and you can see an icon there or a feature there which uh, is part of that layer. We've also got in the brown at the top here another layer, editable layer, which is a hosted feature service within ArcGIS Online. So ArcGIS Online gives you the ability, even if you don't have ArcGIS Server, to um, edit features and create features within a layer and have that stored. So a shapefile could be converted to an editable feature server layer. And in fact, that's what that is in this case. So what we what we wanted to do here is just to show you an additional piece we've added to the application. Often people have are out in the field and they want to they don't just want to add, update attributes of features and add and delete features. They also want to take multimedia data of a feature. So they want to take a video or maybe record some audio or even a video uh, even uh, or take a picture with the camera off of the device and attach that to the feature. Well. That can now be done within the Arc, within the world of ArcGIS Server and ArcGIS Server Online. You can actually attach these type of uh, these type of multimedia elements to a feature, and that's what we've added here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to make the brown layer, the brown features. Um, we're going to make that an editable layer. Let's now tap this feature in the corner here. And there's the window that comes up, which uh, which we still need to do a bit of styling on, as you can see. But those are the attributes of that feature. We can update those attributes. We could delete the feature. We can also attach to that feature. By tapping the button there, we have just pulled up another another pop-up window, which gives us the ability to, um, to attach um, additional media to this feature. You can see we've already got one um, pi picture attached. Let's attach another one. It could be audio, it could be imagery, it could be video as well if we had any on the device. Let us just select the second one here. Let's submit that. And lo and behold we've got a second image attached. Again that's been updated on the server so that's now stored on the server as an attachment to that particular feature. Let's remove that and let's now go into offline mode. Now we've set the application up so that people can select offline and, and actually read data from the device itself. Um, the reason for that is if they've got no Wi-Fi connection or if they've got poor fault Wi-Fi connection you can then still get good performance out of the application just by reading data from the device itself and storing the editable information there. So let's just do one other thing. I just wanted to show you that um, the data that is attached to a particular feature that the attachment is actually carried over into offline mode. So the data that you're looking at here is all stored locally on the device. We're no longer going out to ArcGIS Online to pull this data back. And what we're going to do is just tap this feature here. It's a different one to the one we saw before. And I'm just going to tap that. And as you can see, the, 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 not only are the attributes of the feature stored on the device, but also the imagery attached to it is stored on the device as well. So there's an image that we stored um, earlier um, attached to that particular feature. So in online mode and offline mode, we can attach features um, and we can see existing features that are attached all by reading the, in an offline mode, by reading data that's on the device itself. So an interesting and useful addition to the application, we think. Thanks for watching.